This is the full view. Welcome back. Now, the 2024 Africa Energy Indaba exhibition will be hosted out in Cape Town. The key highlights include renewable energy and technology showcases that will feature a dynamic show of energy technologies, innovations and solutions that are shaping South Africa and Africa's landscape. And with South Africa currently grappling with a consistent energy crisis, many will be looking to a solution-based approach as well as directives in this regard. And joining us for this discussion uh, is uh, Professor Samson Mampueli, Sanedi Energy Secretariat Head Prof. A very good evening to you. Thank you so much uh, for your time. As indicated in my intro, many expectations, especially uh, from the South African side in terms of solutions and innovations. What are you expecting from the INDAP? Good evening to you and the viewers. Um, so I'm expecting quite a lot. Uh, as Sanedi, um, we are also sponsoring what we call the, the Hydrogen Forum uh, that will take place uh, alongside the, the proceedings of the Energy Indawa. There's quite a lot that happens in the Indawa. You've got uh, various forums and uh, what we call sub-conferences taking place. Uh, the Gas Forum, for instance, the Women in the Energy, uh, the legislation aspect, the energy production um, and, and uh, provision to the to the people in the African continent in general, including South Africa. Uh, so from the Sanedi point of view, we're participating in most of the events um, and we will be hosting the Hydrogen uh, Forum where we will be bringing people together to look at the hydrogen economy mm. uh, led by the Department of Science and Innovation. I will also participate in those uh, in that forum. Over and above that, we will do two key presentations. One will be done by myself um, at the conference where I will be talking about the South African energy crisis, where we come from, where we are today, uh, what government is doing to deal with the crisis and what we can expect going forward. Uh, and then we have another one that will be done by our CEO who will be focusing more, more on the battery energy storage facilities where we will be focusing more on local beneficiation of the, the, the minerals that we have that are used in battery manufacturing mm -hmm. and the research that South Africa has done so far in that particular space because we don't want these minerals to be, to be mined and then they go outside without being beneficiated inside the country, both on the hydrogen side and also on the energy storage side. That, that would be the main emphasis as well. Mm, now that's what we want to hear, Prof. But where exactly are we in terms of solutions as well as investments? I mean, fancy phrases are often thrown around about energy mixes and additional means to deal with our energy crisis that it has been said might be around with us for many years to come. Even political parties are now even campaigning on the end load shedding ticket. So what kind of investments and where exactly are we knocking doors for these, Prof? So there are various investments that are required. Uh, the first investment is in our transmission grid because we've got grid constraints. Uh, you will recall that uh, Minister Mantashe couldn't announce uh, more than 3,000 megawatts in the in the uh, past round of the, the, the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Program. Because those projects, even though they qualified, there was no grid in the area where they are located. So part of the solutions that we're putting on the table will be dealing with that particular problem, even if it's indirectly in terms of dealing with other challenges to resolve that particular problem. Uh, the second biggest issue is the, the energy availability factor of the coal fleet. Um, so there are two solutions there. One is to, to actually fix the coal fleet that can give us a longevity and then extend their life uh, as provided for in the in the IR, draft IRP 20. Uh, 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 23. Uh, the second one is to basically bring in new generation capacity. Now, when, it, when we start talking about the hydrogen economy, between now and 2050, we are expecting that there will be investment that is uh, in, in more than 300 billion rand investment coming from all over the globe uh, with investments being done in South Africa for green hydrogen. Yeah. Now, when you start talking about green hydrogen, uh, it then means that we will need a lot of renewable energy uh, 
uh, that comes along to, to produce that green hydrogen and some of it will be available for the grid during the time that these projects will not be using that particular energy mm -hmm. so we've got those opportunities that we're looking at so in terms of the short term the mid term and the long term kind of solutions now prof look uh, capacity building as well as skills uh, development will also feature on the agenda how far are we currently in terms of training and upskilling or even roping in uh, international or other technical crews and teams to provide efficient diagnostics as well as real-time solutions to our energy crisis so in terms of capacity, we, we do have a lot of capacity in the country mm -hmm. in the uh, technologies that we've been using for quite a long time. If you look at the, 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 the thermal power system, which is basically your coal-fired power stations, we've got quite a lot of capacity in that. The, the, the panel of international experts that were, that were roped in by National Treasury, for instance, what they uncovered is basically what we have already uncovered in South Africa. Uh, what they've recommended is already things that we've already recommended, even though ESCOM has welcomed the report uh, in, in that particular respect. Um, if you look at the nuclear side of things, we've run the new the Quebec nuclear power station for quite a long time. We've mm -hmm. got capacity to run it. Um, where we we lack the skills is in the new technologies. Mm. Uh, on the solar energy side, we've done quite a lot of training. Uh, for more than a decade, we've been training people, uh, you know, masters and PhD graduating, uh, technicians being trained through uh, uh, centers such as the one at the CPUT, Saratech. Yes. And most of that ill left the country and some of the people are starting to come back because of the REIT program. On the new energy technologies such as your hydrogen uh, economy, we've done a lot of training as well for the past 10 years, but right. we, we lack skills especially with the, on the technicians and artisan side of things. So that's where South Africa is starting to focus at the moment. All right, Prof. We're hopefully looking for an, a detailed update uh, when you come back uh, from uh, the Indaba. Thank you so much uh, for uh, your contribution today. That is uh, Professor Samson Mampueli, the head of uh, Sanidi's Energy Secretariat.